Hey, people. So, I, um, I have an exciting thing kicking off tomorrow, and it's not our move to Albuquerque, which is also exciting and is also happening, not tomorrow, but very soon. Um, but I'm doing, I'm, I'm a participant in a masterclass series with Madeline Bruiser, who's a pianist, New York-based pianist, piano teacher, who I've discovered recently because she also approaches piano um, from a mindfulness perspective. She, I found her online. I don't even remember how I came across her, but it was like mind, mindfulness and piano turned up Madeline Bruiser. And I, she has a book, which I've just kind of perused. I haven't even really read it, but it it's, looks spectacular. Um, and I'm not even convinced that I maybe didn't come across her book when I was in college at some point studying music. I think the book came out in like the late 90s or early 2000s. And uh, many, many people that I have since connected with online have read her book and have been deeply inspired by her. I've connected now tangentially with her through in a couple of online conversations. And every time I see her, she just drops like a couple of just really beautiful, like zinger, like crystallizing nuggets of wisdom. And I've just found it. I've just found it so, I just found her so inspiring. And so I'm playing for her tomorrow. I'm going to get a full dose over, you know, tomorrow. And then this is going to go on for six weeks. So I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be um, drinking from a fire hose probably. And you know, what's coming through for me is that it's actually really interesting for me to be going into a student position. I've been doing so much teaching lately and I've been loving my teaching and I've been really so inspired by it. And I feel like I'm, I'm just in a lot of ways just beginning my teaching. I feel like that's, this is something that's going to expand for my entire lifetime. And so that's, it's, it's amazing. And also that's different than being a student. You know, when we're in the teaching position, our job is to sort of see the student, receive an impression from the student, and then give them a reflection, um, you know, hopefully with some input and insight and some guidance as to like how they might proceed, what, the, what their next step might be, how to help them kind of like keep going down the road of their practice. And um, and that's different than being the student who's there to basically be where you are and receive the reflection from a master, you know, from someone who's senior to you. And that's, it's, I just feel like it's very healthy for me to be stepping into that role again. It's been a few years since I, uh, been several years since I had any lessons from another, from, from another teacher like that. And so, I think it's going to be really, you know, both good for me and also exciting <laughs> to step into that role, to be in, to be in the student role for a little while. Um, and to, to work from that angle, it might, it, I think it's probably undoubtedly going to be really informative for my teaching as well. Um, and I've thought of this recently. It's funny, this is coming up kind of in this, at this perfect time, even though it's in the middle of our move, it's still kind of perfect timing because you know, my intensive, the content creation is finished, it's still running, and I intend to keep people enrolling, uh, ongoing, but I have sort of come through a big creation period of the content, and um, right as that's sort of like, I'm, the dust is kind of settling on it, I'm, now I'm getting this new opening, and I'm going to be a student for a little while, and receive a whole bunch of new reflection, and you know, so hopefully some insight about my own playing. Hopefully my own playing is going to really expand and deepen. Madeline's book is titled, is entitled Making Music from the Heart. And if there's one thing that I discovered over everything else in my own intensive, it was that, you know, as much as I was trying to take a mindfulness-based approach to, to piano in the sense of, you know, the, the kind of practices we were doing and, you know, the relationship in a lot of ways between meditation how we use our, our awareness in meditation and on the piano and et cetera, some of these overlaps. The biggest thing, way bigger than that, was when students or my, when anyone connects with their heart and finds that, that like upward flowing energy in themselves, it's like that changes everything. You literally can't make a mistake when you're coming from that place. There's, it's like, 
the creative process is happening through us. And that is so exciting. And that's, I mean, that's literally what, you know, making music from the heart kind of sums that up perfectly. It's like being, just being centered in our heart, being centered in the core of our being and making music from there instead of from technique or from an idea or of what music should be or how we're supposed to sound or a standard, you know. So super excited to dive in with Madeline and just kind of be a student again and make some music deep in my own, deep in my own practice, deep in my own music. It's, it's a privilege and I will have to move my piano in the middle of the master class, but you know, that's life. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm sure I'm going to be talking about this a lot more and, you know, probably recording, hopefully recording some music um, as I'm working on it with Madeline. So appreciate you all. Much love. Uh, have a great day. Have a great night whenever you are watching this. Thanks for watching. Um, I love you. Talk to you soon.